you today is an Audiosonic T17B from Kmart. It's a 1 gigahertz single CPU solution. I think they call it the Rockwell 2926 chip. Uh, it's got 4 gigabytes of ROM, 512 of RAM, uh, 4.1 Android operating system on it. And this particular one has a 2000 milliamp battery. But these reputedly have poor runtime, and I can actually attest to that, they, they do. So much so that the youngster who had this one decided it was a good idea to run the tablet while plugged into a charger. Uh, that's not a good idea for the battery's sake. Anyway, um, long story short, battery is now cactus, and we need to replace the battery, and it was a new lithium polymer battery. So that's what we're going to do today. We're um, going to rip out the old one and put in uh, a larger 3000 milliamp battery to give uh, extended run time. I should point out there's two screws at the end of this one and essentially all we're going to do is just break the clip with our fingernails. Uh, it's not that well held in, um, which is good because it's going to be hard to replace otherwise. So I'll just quickly, we probably should put something down to protect the face of, of the screen while I'm opening it up. As you can see, I'm just using my fingernails, no special equipment, and there we are. Pay special attention to the little buttons, my power on and off, and um, volume control. You'll need them to put them somewhere safe. All right, here's the lithium polymer battery we're going to take out. It's held in place by some adhesive tape. It shouldn't prove to be too difficult to remove. Okay. Now I've added double sided tape to the battery to hold it in place. Obviously it's probably a little thick but it'll do the job. There's clearance enough in there for it. Okay. Secure that. Double sided tape. Okay. Remember those two buttons I said earlier? Not to lose your volume and power on. We need those now. We put them into the, the base. And it's much easier just to simply tip over the front piece and clip it in that way. Power button works. We really need to treat these batteries with, with a great deal of respect. Lithium polymer are excellent. They're flexible. They're high energy density for their size. You probably get about five or six hundred cycles out of the battery, charging and whatnot. But you can't puncture them because that could cause them to rupture and explode. You also need to dispose of them thoughtfully. You can't just chuck them in the bin and go to landfill. You need to find an appropriate disposal point. Probably uh, a store that sells mobile phones or laptops, things like that, have got a bin out the front specifically for lithium cell batteries. So yeah, treat them with respect and when you finish with them, dispose of them thoughtfully. And it's in everyone's interest really. Alright, that new cell is soldered in. And it's 
the battery is indicating full charge here. I've got to obviously charge it up because when batteries of that nature are transported, they're not transported or shipped fully charged. And there's a reason for that. It's just part of the way that they're treated. Essentially, transporting a fully charged battery is dangerous. All right, well, I'm going to put that on charge, and uh, that is pretty much everything I had to do for this little job. Thanks for watching.